Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you once again for this wonderful opportunity to spend a few moments in God's Word and in prayer. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1 and 2. The revelation from Jesus Christ which God gave him to show his servants what must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John who testifies to everything he saw that is the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. When a curtain is pulled back to reveal a new work of art, the assembled crowd responds with appreciation and applause. Something that was a mystery has been made known. A similar thing happens in the book of Revelation. God pulls back a curtain that has been concealing the finished work of Jesus Christ. Here, God reveals to believers that Christ is the source of comfort, courage and hope. The Lord initially revealed all of this to the Apostle John, one of Jesus' closest followers through the work of an angel. And John testifies that this aligns with what, was, what he witnessed firsthand as one of Jesus' disciples. The book of Revelation is an incredible book wrapping up the other 65 books of the Bible and placing the seal of God's revelation to mankind. It touches on so many keys or themes of scripture, drawing imagery and examples from all over the Bible. But there is one central theme. It is the theme of the entire Bible, actually. It is the person of Jesus Christ. So as we go through the series, he will be prominent. The book of Revelation, sorry, this book of Revelation is from him and of him. In Daniel chapter 7, 13 and 14, it gives us a prophetic look of the Son of Man, that is Jesus Christ, coming on the clouds of heaven and taking the place with the Ancient of Days. The Father gives the Son all authority over the kingdom that will never be destroyed. And Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 10 speaks of the one they have pierced. The prophet says that God's people will see what they have done to the Son of Man and they will mourn because of it. Their repented attitude is a result of God's grace. And God counts the shed blood of Jesus as the payment for all our sin, even the sins of those who have not yet believed in Him. Then God speaks and He says He is the Alpha and the Omega, the one who is, the one who was, and the one who is to come. Jesus is the Savior of and Lord of the Church. From His position and authority, He leads His Church even today. In Christ, the church will stand firm and stand firm against its enemies and all their threats. What a joy it is to know this. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word, oh God. We thank you. You are the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. And all things are sustained by you. And we pray, God, that even as we look ahead, O oh God, we pray that you will be with us, O oh God. You will teach us to look at things ahead, O oh God, not in our own strength, but through the power of your Holy Spirit. We commit ourselves into your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.